as many of you guys know now, Solo Leveling just dropped their official teaser. Not trailer, teaser. So we're probably going to get a more fleshed out version of all the animation and what, what we're to see uh, coming down the road because this, this is releasing quick. It's releasing in winter 2024. So that's, that's coming up. You guys may think that's like, fuck, like next year in December. No, that's January. That's coming up January. It's still a year or so, like nine months, but it's coming quick. It's, it's almost here. It's on the way. But this video is not just going to be a reaction to the official teaser. I'm going to be talking a bit more about the conflicting opinions of the solo leveling anime going around at the moment. Before we get into all of that, I first want to say I probably will react to the solo leveling anime, especially if you guys want to see me react to the solo leveling anime. But I'll give you a disclaimer, I have read the manhwa, but I'll also go over a bit over that uh, after I've done this reaction. But I'm excited about this because this is the first bit of solo leveling animation that we're getting. It's a teaser. It's not a trailer, but it is still the first bit of actual animation that we're getting. Not like little fucking manhwa panels being animated and being, you know, fucking having flowing hair, but it's just taken from the panel itself, right? This is huge. This is something. And we got a whole release date. We got confirmation. It's all set in motion. And there's no going back now. But this is going to be more than just a reaction. I'm going to be going over the soul leveling anime and the conflicting thoughts, like I said, because I have read the manhwa and I'll go deeper into that later on. But yes, first, let's check out the trailer, the, the teaser, sorry, and see what it's about, because I am excited. I can't I can't lie. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited. So let, let, let's just check this out, right? Let's check this shit. A statue, bro. It actually it looks crisp. It looks crisp, man. Okay, I'll let it play. I'll lay I'll let it play out before I before I go in depth and and Oh shit, they did that justice. They did that justice. I can't lie. They did that justice. Oh shit. A1 pictures. I'm excited about that. I want to talk about that too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can't lie. That's it. That's all they're giving us, huh? Coming next winter, bro. That's all they've given us. I am shocked at how similar that looks to, to the Manwa. Okay. That looks incredibly similar. Way, way more similar than I was expecting. I thought they were going to go like original, original. But that shit, that shit looks faithful. I can't even lie. The animation already looks like it's clean. It's clean. But this... He looks like Sung Jin Woo or I got to look up the name again after. I'm just going to keep calling him Sung Jin Woo because it just doesn't feel right if I don't call him that. But he looks like how he should be if he's being animated. Maybe this is just my thoughts on it, but it looks really good. All right. And this, this in general, this is insane. That looks almost identical. This especially too. Them keeping the glow in his eyes like in the manhwa, bro? Yo! Nah, that's fucking hype. That's hype. You're lying if you don't think- If you're saying that's not like what you want. Because of a fucking name change. First off, I'm pleasantly surprised by that teaser. I was not expecting it to be- To be that well translated into an anime. And more importantly- as faithful to, to certain scenes in the manhwa. It shocked me, I can't lie, okay? As you guys know, let me let me try and pull this out. Pause. Anyways, um, so as most of you guys know, Sung Jin Woo's name is being changed to Shun Mizushino. Get used to it because it's happening, alright? There's nothing you can do about it, right? I don't care what anybody says. I don't really think this is a big deal. If you guys don't understand the reason for the name change, it's because Japan is antagonized in the manhwa. 
Nobody actually thought the manhwa was going to be adapted because of this reason. Because of a Japanese studio animating a manhwa that antagonizes Japan, it just doesn't make sense. But they still took on the project. The only thing is, they're going original by having the setting placed in Japan instead, and they're changing the name to Sungjin Wu to Shun Mizushino. It doesn't have the same ring about it, but fucking sucks to suck get a gripper right i don't think it should really matter if the core story is still intact like they're probably gonna change some few th a few things because that's kind of obvious because the setting is tokyo now or somewhere in japan it's not korea it's not seoul so you can expect a bunch of name changes in general but besides that i do not think that the co from that tri from that teaser i could be completely wrong but from that teaser it doesn't look like the core story is going to be changed at all with that i'm i'm quite optimistic now especially after seeing that teaser i, I was i was optimistic beforehand but like i said it's going original and we know how original animes usually go it doesn't usually end well but who knows and i'll express why i'm quite optimistic despite it going original and understanding what original anime means when comparing it to the fucking goofy shindiggle shits out there that ruined anime like tokyo ghoul the promise no not to name sorry 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 i'm naming now like i was saying in the beginning I have read the manhwa and I'll probably still react to it if you guys want to see me react to it. Because it is going original, so who knows? Maybe I'll see new shit that I'll fucking freak out about. I think I'll still freak out about it because, let's be honest, seeing Soul Leveling get animated in general is fucking bonkers. Like, even if they don't follow the main story plot, they're gonna have the same system. And that system's gonna have epic ass fucking shit go down, alright? But despite me reading it until the end-ish, I haven't read any of the new chapters because I heard they were coming out with more chapters, but I haven't read anything past that. Despite that, I only think the story is really fucking good at like the start to like maybe the middle point. But after the middle point, that's where it kind of lost me. And I feel like I was just eating up the fucking art and how beautiful it was, right? I wasn't really there for the story anymore because, well, it was just a power trip at that point. It's just, you know, that is a reason why I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic that they might change it to where the story might not go flat anymore. It, it probably will. I'm gonna be honest. When I look at it. It might still end up going flat, but I'll still watch it. I'm still gonna be there. Let's I'm I'm be honest, I'm still gonna be there regardless if it goes flat or not, because this animation's about to be crisp. If you also don't know, A1 Pictures is animating solo leveling. And if you don't know who A1 Pictures is, what the fuck are you doing? In my opinion, I think A1 Pictures is at least top five, possibly even top three of all studios currently releasing anime we got like fucking mappa we got wit we got ufotable we got a1 pictures i don't know throwing cloverworks in there in my opinion they're amazing they've dropped stuff like soul leveling elicization if you don't know what uh, what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about Oh my god! Cut it there, cut it there. I'm not trying to get any more copyrights. And also, I might even cream myself before the video even ends. And it's not a reaction video. And mind I say this to you, they also animated 7 Deadly Sins. Now that might be fucking the alarm bells are sounding, bro. This is not a fire drill. This is a real, real thing. No, listen. When I say seven deadly sins, I don't mean seven deadly frames. I mean this. Nah, 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 nah. Just stop it there. Stop it there. Stop it. Again, not trying to get copyright issues, but you know. And if you don't get what I mean yet, 
apparent if you if you're still not convinced a1 is hands down one of the top studios currently out let me just drop you one of my favorite fucking episodes ever right here bro Stop it. Stop. Nope. Nope. I'm not trying to cry today. I'm not. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. No. You cannot tell me A1 is the perfect studio to animate solo leveling. When I heard that shit, I, I fucking, my balls bursted, bro. Anyways, like I said, that is why I'm quite optimistic. And with that too, though, there comes a big thing theme when mon was adapted we've seen this with tower of god we've seen this with god of high school we've seen this with no bless pacing is utter dog shit <laughs> well first off we got tower of god uh in 12 episodes they adapted 78 chapters god of high school adapted 85 how much fucking chap no i feel like that's a lie that's not 85 chapters nope it was lying to me it's not 85 chapters in 13 episodes it's a hundred chapters in 12 episodes so as you can tell manwa adapted animes are not not paced very well they're they're rushed as fuck okay but i i granted i should say that manwa chapters are significantly longer than regular japanese manga chapters okay and the system that japanese studios take to animate uh mangas does not translate well to manwas with that said though tower of god is still getting a second season what makes me still quite optimistic about it is because it's going original so they kind of have leeway to adjust the story however they want i do hope they still take the core of the story and properly like you know adapt it but i feel the fact that they're going original with manwa that doesn't really translate well with the system of how much chapters are adapted into episodes i feel like it could be a good change lots of people might not agree with me lots of people might ah, stick up their pitchforks to be like ah! Stick to the fucking core material, you bitches! It's just not gonna work. Let's face it, fucking animators in Japan are already killing themselves in general. You really want to put them through that much more torment. And I know you're gonna say, just delay it longer! We can wait! Again, that's not how the system works in Japan. They have a set deadline. And once that set deadline is there, they don't give a shit about their employees. But with that being said, I hope you guys understand my point of view. And I hope this kind of gives some perspective to how, how you're looking into the anime. If you were kind of despising the changes, I hope I can kind of give you a different perspective, another eye into it and uh, lighten your, uh, your feelings about it. But I am very excited. So if you like this video and you want to see me actually react to the anime, despite me reading the manhwa, I'll be happy to do that for you. Just, you know, like, subscribe, show some love in the comments or something. I don't know. That's about it, bro.